I started my year before my first gig this year was in a hotel to 80 people. My last gig this year is to 80,000 people at the O2 Arena. How does that happen? <laughs> I said that to myself this morning when I woke up. I got in the van and said, guys, we're in the O2 Arena tonight. Like, I, and uh, do you know what? I've always said my biggest dream, any interview or anything, anyone said to me, what's, what's the one thing you want to do? And I said, play the O2 Arena. And tonight, I've done it. Do you know what I mean? So, guys, we are literally just arrived at the O2 Arena. I am excited out of my brain. I've never been back here. We literally was just driving through and I'm like, wow, we're about to go inside and um, see the arena for the first time. And you guys are coming with me. So yeah, let's do it. Let's go. I've dreamt of doing arenas. And I remember a month before the tour started, I sat on my laptop and I got every arena that, that we was performing in and I Googled them just to see what the images were like. And I remember seeing them thinking, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Am I going to be scared? Like, am I going to feel physically sick to the point where I'm like, I'm not going to be able to go on this stage. There's thousands of people out there. But honestly, I feel so much more at home on these stages. I'm like, literally, now I'm thinking, oh, <laughs> this is going to be a show tonight. I didn't realise how, I can't explain, like I said, how big it is in here to what it felt like, to what it was like watching a show here, if that makes sense. And now I'm replaying in my head all the shows I've seen here and thinking, oh, so this is what it looked like. It's crazy, dude. It's gonna be insane. Amazing, man. I can't believe it's at the O2, like, it's crazy. I'm trying to imagine what it's gonna look like later when it's full. Usually I get a nice yeah, excitement. Yeah. This one, it's definitely mixed a little bit of nerves when I'm stood backstage and we're waiting to go on. And, um, yeah, I don't know, you just have to get psyched up for it. When you hear everyone, you walk out, you just think, this is it. Hopefully one day I wanna be doing my own tour like this. So to, to kind of, still be on the tour, but be able to see from a, a, a side view, if that makes sense, what's going to come. It's, it's been a blessing in so many ways, man. Sound check. Done. Madness. Sounds so good in this arena, man. It's, um, it's surreal. I had a moment where I was like, wow, that's what my song sounds like in O2. But yeah, so um, I feel much more chilled now that's done. And um, now we're going to go grab some food from catering, get ready. Get myself together and then it's showtime, dude. Let's do this. <laughs> I've just been pushing, man. Just YouTube and as I said, gigging a lot. I've done a lot of gigs around the, um, more so London based. Um, this kind of tour has given me the opportunity to take it right like around the UK. But yeah, pushing. Um, luckily enough, the YouTube started to build, the Twitter followers started to build, Facebook. And um, it's been a dream. It literally has just been a madness. It's a lot of hard graft and I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but I'm on a, a, a lucky good path. and. Um, it's brought me to this kind of opportunity today. I can't, I don't know how to explain it, but from, the, I'd say from August onwards, something's just clicked this year. Something, the gigs have been great, the sound's been good, studio sessions have gone well, the fan base has just kept growing. And I, I honestly couldn't tell you if you said what it is, I don't know, but all I know is that what, whatever we're doing, we're doing right and, and it has to continue. It's the beard, right? I get, keep getting told, everyone on this tour, people are like, how old are you, like 24, 25? I'm like, no, I'm 22. They're like, where's your passport? <laughs> You're not 22. I'm like, seriously? And everyone says it's the beard. Thank you, babe. Thank you. Seconds away from literally stepping on the stage, and the crowd are right here. And um, it's time, London. Hey, yeah. Oh. I 
I've always said my biggest dream, any interview or anything, anyone said to me, what's, what's the one thing you want to do? And I said, play the O2 Arena. And tonight... <laughs> When you look at it really, social media is my record label right now. They're the guys that are invested in me. Social media, Twitter, Facebook, they're the guys pushing me and, and, and accepting my decisions and, and they're the ones that say, please can you do the show here and do the show there. And So yeah, I, I'm, I love it. Touring, performing is incredible. Being on the road is tough, but I won't lie. It's for me. It's my first tour, so for me, it's not as tough as, as Buzz. But it's so unglamorous. Like it literally, service stations are your best friend. Hotel from hotel, dragging suitcases, having a shower in one place, and hoping it's going to last for the next day and a half. Do you know what I mean? It's crazy, but. It is what you make it. I have a great team. I'm blessed to have the best band, the best management, the best tour manager. We have so much fun. And I can honestly say this past three weeks have easily been the best three weeks of my life, man. I've, I've learned so much and we're just having such a ball. Like it's gonna be a shame that it's ending, but what a place to end. So pull back the curtain, cause every day I'm learning. I'm ready to show the world. Seeing the arena from this perspective as a performer now, like I've literally seen over 50 shows here, like because um, I come to a lot of live gigs. So seeing them here and then walking in there, but seeing it from the the barrier and the performer, I'm like, boy, so it's, it feels like a different place. It's it's crazy, and it's my hometown, of course. So not only is it the O2, it's my hometown, which means all my family and friends are going to be in the building. It's probably going to be. I, without foul the highlight of my life. It sounds so cliche, but it literally is. Like, this is the moment I've waited for for years. I do this thing in, the, in my set, um, which you guys will see tonight, where I ask the O2 to lift their lighters, phones, anything, and we light the whole entire arena. Now, before I start my last song, I want to try something for you guys. Every night, I ask the arena to get out a lighter or a torch or their phone, and we light the entire arena. We do it in, in line with the boys on the Billy and Lights thing, which always makes it super cool. But tonight, we're in the biggest arena of the entire tour. So if we can, I want to light this entire, wow. <laughs> light this entire arena for you guys, for this next song, and for our boys JLS. Matthew, let's do this. Wow. This next song is my last song. I wrote for anybody. The stands today a better, stronger person than it ever been, whether it's been a friendship, a relationship. If you stand today and you know you're a better you than you've ever been before, then I wrote this for you. Please, guys, hit me up on Twitter. My account is in. Let me know what you thought of my set. I look forward to talking to you guys. You're blowing me away. This looks incredible. And again, from the bottom of my heart, I go by the name of my cow. Thank you so much for having me. This next song is available right now for pre order on iTunes. So you should check it in the fit. Enjoy JLS, thank you London, and good night. I am forever grateful for my X Factor experience. It was the biggest eye opener for me, and it threw me straight in at the deep end. Getting cut by people like Sam and Cal, some of the biggest music moguls, um, for them to say, like, Sam actually said to me, I, I don't think you're ever going to be good enough. And that, to me, was like, ha. That, was, that one line was the biggest inspiration I needed because I'm about to go on stage to 20,000 people at the O2 and I'm, I'm, I still admire the guy and I hope one day I can shake his hand and look him in the eye and say thank you because he 
he's the kind of people that brought me to where I am today. I, I'm a firm believer in everything for a reason. I have to look at it that way for my job because sometimes, you, if not, you'd be crushed by some of the things that don't happen. But, um, but yeah, no, I weren't about to walk out of there and feel like that was the end. That was just the start. I was, I was 16, so I was super young. And from there, it was like, okay, now it is make or break because they kept saying, this is make or break for you, but the real make or break for me was, okay, now I'm not through. Do I give up or do I continue going? And it's took me two or three years, but I've continued going and it's paying off. Cause I'm a better me now than I ever was Though we call it last, they call it last Playing in the mafia was us Yes, I'm a better me now than I ever was Than I ever was Better I love being an independent artist a lot Like a lot of people say I bet you wish you had your deal. And I say, when the time is right, like all in due time. I'm, For me, I want longevity. I want to be doing this arena in 15 years time, not just now, do you know what I mean? So when the right deal comes and when the time is right, it will happen. But right now, I'm doing an arena tour with co full creative control, with a team that I've picked, that I trust, and I have a say over pretty much everything that happens. And that's not because I want to be bossy, but just because I know how I want my show to look and I'm very hands-on with my team and everything. So I still get to do that. Woo! Well, that was something special, man. That was easily my favorite show. Jesus, I can't believe I did, did that. Does it sound alright to you guys? Yeah, yeah. And I hope it inspires so many more independent artists to realise that if you push, you can make any dream come true, for real. So much fun. Highlight? Yeah, highlight. Of that, the lights. The lights blew me away, but the whole thing, for real, that was just... Madness. Those lights. That was insane, dude. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It was, it was oh. different level.